Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, today we will be trying to discuss the, a mathematical solution to figure out the mixed strategy probability. As we discussed in the last uh, video, that uh, pure strategies don't really work out uh, in most of the real world scenarios. So we'll trying to fix, uh, like find out a solution for mixed strategies. So how different players uh, can determine their uh, probability distribution to choose between the two uh, two options present. So uh, we'll take up this scenario for a zero sum game. Where we have one player as a bowler and the other player as a batsman. Now, the two actions that the bowler can take is an in swinging delivery or an out swinging delivery. Uh, similarly, a batsman can either play on offside or leg side, and depending upon that, their payoffs has been uh, penned down. So, if the batsman plays offside and the bowler bowls an in swinging delivery, so the bowler gets a payoff of four, uh, but the batsman gets a payoff of minus four. Uh, similarly, you can understand the other payoffs as well. Uh, now uh, we'll try to figure out an algebraic solution to figure to find out which probability by which probability the bowler or the batsman should choose between his uh, object, his or her actions that are available to him. Now, uh, if you remember, first of all, we must tell how this entire scenario is a zero-sum game, as I told you earlier. So you can see that in each and every condition that is possible, uh, the total gain or the total loss uh, made is equals to zero. For example. Uh, in case of in swinging plus offside gives out 4 plus minus 4 equals to 0. Similarly, in swinging plus leg side, the uh, the loss made by the baller is minus 1 and the gain made by the batsman is 1, hence equals to 0 and similarly. So this is how this entire scenario is zero-sum game and we will try to find a solution for a zero-sum game for a given uh, player. Now, uh, finding and finding out the solution for a particular player, right? Just remember that. So like we need to find out different solution for the two players. We need to uh, we need to follow the entire process twice. Uh, we will be following three major steps. One is uh, one by one we will be fixing the action by the opponent. Uh, the next is we will be uh, we will consider the probability for one of the actions of the current player for which we are trying to figure out the probability as x, and for the next uh, or for and for the other action it's one minus x. So like for example, as you know, probability should add up to one. So if we consider the probability for an in swing delivery by a bowler as x, then the probability of an out swing delivery is 1 minus x. Right. Uh, as we have two actions for uh, the opponent, so we'll be getting two terms. One is for uh, action 1 and one for action 2. And eventually, we'll try to equate these terms to get the possible value for x. Uh, let's see an example as all this theoretically, it won't be able, you won't be able to understand. So like uh, solving from the bowler's perspective, first of all, uh, let probability of an in swinging delivery be x hence the probability of the other action that is out swinging delivery is equal to 1 minus x now if the batsman plays offside this one so the payoff of the batsman the probable payoff of the batsman would be minus 4 because he is getting a minus 4 when the bowler bowls an in swinging delivery because we don't the probability of an in swinging delivery is x as we discussed minus 4 into x plus 10 into 1 minus x that is the probability of an outswinging delivery. I think this should be clear. So the payoffs of the uh, when the batsman plays an offside and the bowler uh, bowls an inswinging delivery is minus four, and uh, when the bowler bowls an outswing is ten. And eventually, as we have decided that inswinging delivery has a probability of x, and outswinging has a delivery of one minus x. So eventually, we get this particular term. Now, if the bowler plays, if the batsman plays leg side, what are the different payoffs? That is. 1 and minus 10. So it again become 1 into x plus minus 10 into 1 minus x. As you as we decided earlier, really, in swing has a probability of x. So we get this particular term. Now, as we tried told earlier in third step, that is, we'll be equating these two terms, uh, these two terms, and eventually we'll try to find out a value for x. So in case of bowler, the value for x comes out to be 4 upon 5. That is, the pro the bowler should bowl in swinging deliveries the probability of 0.8. Or 4 upon 5 and outswing delivery with the probability of 1 upon 5. When you solve this equation for x, you will get that. 